Hello. Welcome to my second game review. This time we're reviewing a game that I'm sure many of you are going to not like me for saying this, but a game I very dislike. Oh, and look. This guy's got a Virgin logo on his stinking drum. How interesting is that? Selling out in the game you made. Okay, so you start the game, and you use A does nothing, C jumps, and B is your attack. You whack things with your belly. Now you collect food and stuff for points, of course. But honestly, he moves so slow, it's hard to dodge attack. Another thing is that the only way to actually promise you're getting a hit is if you see an enemy walking by, you got to just rapidly tap that B button. Just hoping you hit the guy. Because, see that? I'm hitting one guy, and another guy comes when I'm not ready. That guy. So what happens? I get hit. The only thing that comes close to an actual attack is if you jump an attack. He does a kick, which I have to admit, for a caveman, it's pretty cool that he learned. Ah, crap! Of course, down is duck, and you walk by pushing the arrow key. And I really find it, ex and I find it extremely annoying. He always goes Argh! whenever he gets hurt. It's annoying. I think the only, I think one of the few things I like about this game. Is that saying he says at the beginning of every level, or at the beginning of every life, or whatever. Bongo, bongo! I don't know why I like that so much. I know I should duck by instinct, but hey. Ooh, an egg. Oh, you, you're kidding me. In games like Adventure Island, eggs are good. And they don't hurt you, but, except for the ones that have eggplants in them, but. Oh, look, another egg. Oh. Ducking wouldn't have saved me there, so you can't say well, that that was that wasn't a cheap hit. All right, so you're riding a brontosaurus that swims. Everyone knows brontosauruses don't swim. Oh, look at him! He's just standing there and looking where I am. He's fat. Why are you going around killing stuff here anyway? What? Are you just so? What, are you a caveman on your quest for evolution? So you go around trying to kill things? Hey, I just realized something. This is who George W. Bush evolved from. Another, oh, another one of the few things I like about this game are, that, are those cartoony sound effects that it has. Yeah, you just whack things with your belly. In Chuck Rock 2, it looks a lot better. You're, like, son of Chuck Rock. And guess what? You're not fat. You go around with a big, stinking club, and you kill, and you whack things with it. Now that is what I want to play in a caveman game. A caveman going around, killing stuff with a club. Come and get some of my belly. Oh, you little... Oh, I get a heart. Hooray. What the heck? Did that rock just walk? I don't want to know. Okay, please. Somebody in the comments below, tell me what the story of this stinking game is. Because I can't tell. I honestly can't tell. What am I doing? I'm Okay, I can tell I'm walking left to right, killing all these dinosaurs. What do I do? Press down? The arrow says down, so what do I do? Oh, I kicked him. No, oh, and he's carrying me. Oh, look, a T-Rex. How nice. Oh, wait, a giant Stegosaurus, maybe. Okay, I'm dead. Game over. Continue. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You suck. No, I'm just glad to get out of this stinking game. I'm, a, I'm sorry if I offended some people, but this game... I just hate this game. And plus, if Chuck Rock has to kill all these dinosaurs who aren't even trying to hurt him except for a couple, then how come in this random band 
one of the players is a stinking dinosaur. I wouldn't be surprised if this girl and this guy chuck their guitars at this guy, and this guy whacked him on the head with his drumsticks. <sighs> okay, I'm done. See you later.